What's up, everybody? Your favorite podcast is back. It is Trifling But True. 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 It's your girl, Jade. It's your girl, Asia. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Lori. And this week, we have a special motherfucking guest. His name is Vincent Bryant. <laughs> yeah, what up, Paul? You got a pause? Yeah, we gonna well, we, we, we gotta insert, you know, we a little bit. We gotta insert that after. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, first time ever have a comedian with us. He's a comedian from St. Louis. Yes, I am. Yes, but not only is a, he a comedian, he's an actor. Mm-hmm. He's a writer. Yep, and that's it, right? You know how many times, like, you see the news. I mean, one time, yeah, one time, you never know who will discover right. you and think that you're dope as fuck and want to work with you. It's, it's so true. even if you had two minutes of TV time, that two mm-hmm. minutes could change your entire life. This is very true. It's a fact. So you never know. Somebody five years from now can see that and be like, I like him. Let's find out who that person is. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. hopefully I'm in the same position five years from now. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm not sure. Yeah, but I don't know how to get through that be. And now he's on trifle but true. So. Yes. <laughs> you know, nah, but yeah, how y'all doing? How you doing? I'm well. You good? Yeah. I'm well. I'm well. I'm well. good. Good. You've been on the move. Yeah, I'm right. You've been traveling. Yeah, you gotta stay busy. You gotta stay hot. I know, that's right. Hustle. Yeah. yeah. How y'all doing? Y'all good? I'm doing great. Good. I have a okay. good time. Me too. All right. So. I guess we can go ahead and get no. We gotta do the icebreaker before we do the true team, right? Icebreaker, yeah. Yeah, let's do the icebreaker uh, first. Shit. I'm a little nervous. So I, nervous. I found this one okay. earlier and it was funny as fuck because the uh, comments had me weak. So you gonna answer first and then we gonna get. Right then we gonna answer, answer okay? Uh, so one of these three options has to go. Number one, Jesus. Number two, your mama. Uh, or number three, nine hundred billion dollars. Billion. With a B. Oh, money can go. The money? Really? Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. You, you, you know what? You different. Because I was going to say my mama. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. I was going to say my mama. I love you. Too. I love you. Yo, my mommy child. Are oh, you sick? <laughs> you are sick. I love you, mama. I love you. But I got to live my life. No, I'm just <laughs> no it's so crazy because... <laughs> At first, I was going to say the same thing y'all said, but now I was like, you know what? The money could go because, one, I can't live without Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> wasn't going to well. Yeah. Two, I just can't live without my money, y'all. I just love, like, my, the money could go. I'd be broke and happy than, like, Aww. rich and I mean, that's when you put it like that. Moment. They didn't say you couldn't make no more money. That's the same. That right. So, but, see, but they didn't say how old your mama was. But see, the chances <laughs> of you making that in this lifetime are probably very slim. Nine hundred billion. Um, possible. Possible, billion. but your chance you'll you'll probably get into a plane crash before you make nine hundred billion. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, I said my mom, and I love my mom dearly, but me and her aren't the closest. And so we already don't talk a lot as is, so it wouldn't be. That's your mama. Mama, I mama, she mama, she pushed mama you out of the But here's the thing: <laughs> I understand that death isn't real, so people never truly die. So there's always a connection with my mama. Yeah, so even when she's not here, I still have a connection with her. Mm. So shit. Dang, ready. I got Jesus. I, like I got my mama in spirit. Cool. And I got nine hundred yeah, billion dollars. Yeah, like, Dang, right. ready. Hey. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> With 900 billion. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but honestly. The only child you said is from you. My mom, me and my mama are really close. She'll understand my decision. Uh, I feel like your mama would be like, take the money. Yeah, girl, she's going to be like, billion. Oh, okay. <laughs> She'll have a nice deal. I don't know. Like, I have my like, mama this question. She probably, if, it, if I was a choice, I would go. Yes, yes. That's 
Yeah, I'm gonna cheat Oh, fuck. That's just scary. The other side is she probably will. I'm number four. I got other kids. She's like, man, I got other sons. <laughs> <laughs> no, but people in the comments was really saying they'll get rid of Jesus. I said, oh, hold on, no. wait a minute. Damn. Now that's the one option I'm really looking at you crazy. You know, it is three of us. The Holy Spirit. You God, funny as hell. Yeah. You get rid of Jesus. He was just a son. <laughs> still got a dick. Yeah, yeah, still got a dick. So like, he know my get rid of Jesus. <laughs> Y'all Yo, funny. That's funny. It's holy Trinity, right? Did you have ice breaker too, Lord? No. Oh, okay. There was one. Right, cool. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, yeah. He it was painless. Yeah, that was gonna be something real. Definitely no. should have had another one for that ass. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm not gonna get to, but yeah, no, I'm not getting rid of my mom. All right, let's get into this true tea. Yes. So, true tea for today. Um, so it's reported that Jay Z and Will Smith are gonna be executive producing an AB series about Emmett Till. The ABC, ABC series? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to watch it. It's going to be on ABC. Low-key, I don't got that commercial. Uh, I would rather um, a channel like a show the graphic. HBO. HBO, mm-hmm. HBO, Showtime, somewhere like Star Wars. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's true. First ABC going to be dying on the motherfucker. They wouldn't even let them <laughs> do it. Uh, that's why Key Burns, who created Blackness, kind of left. Because they wouldn't even mm-hmm. let him do a, uh, a protest of himself. So I know they ain't going to get this right. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I'm curious. I think it's a good idea though. It is. But it's also from his mom's perspective, so mm. I'm really curious to know how this is going to play out. Um, I'm going to write it. Yeah. But honestly, HBO shelved the project for years and then ABC picked it up. Mm. So it was supposed mm. to, I don't know, ABC y'all, or HBO, y'all tripping. Yeah, they tripping, uh, tripping. Trippin'. You passed up on a good one. Yeah. Y'all, y'all really tripping. Yeah. Get back to so, oh, I got some truth. Oh, you got truth. Oh, you got it. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes. Wendy's is bringing back their spicy chicken nuggets. Let Starting the church say, Hey, fuck you, man. Hey, man. Starting Monday, y'all. August oh. 12th. August 12th. What? That's funny. <laughs> 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 that we all about to cut this shit short. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to chicken nugget. Yeah, spicy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they was lit. <laughs> they I don't know why they took them off the menu talking about they weren't selling. You a damn liar. You damn right. Right. They were selling. Shout out to Chance the Rapper. Chance brought them back. He brought them back. He did. Mm-hmm. Good job, Shout out. Chance. Good job. So we, we done with True Tea. Um, we gonna jump in and talk about you a little bit. <laughs> um, <Damn>. So first, <laughs> first things first though, we do want to talk about kind of how you got to doing stand-up. So is um, there like... What, how did you get to it? Was people just like, ah, oh, this nigga funny. And then you just took it around with it, or? Yeah. What made you say, I want to be a comedian? Yeah. I still don't know the answer. I just <laughs> was like, all right, this is how I relate to people. It's funny. Let's mm-hmm. see if I can do it. And I went and did it, and I bombed. I was fucking terrible. I was just <laughs> going to ask him, have you ever been booed? Yeah. What? No, I ain't never been booed, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hold on, you said boo. Wow. <laughs> Nah, it's it probably it's gonna happen. I'm waiting for it. I can't wait till it happens. No, don't wait for it. Yeah, what you mean? You're not a real comedian until you get booed. How do you respond? Ooh. That's adversity. Like, oh, you can't do well all the time. I don't want to be on the biggest stage and then finally get booed. Oh, and then yeah. get booed. Damn. <laughs> True. And I mean, you're not really trying nothing. If you're not, you know, people don't, if everybody like you, it's like, oh, man, this is too easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. So, what made me start is. I was at the crib one day, I was listening to Bernie Mac, uh, Pandora Station, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna try it. Mm. I'm just gonna do it. So I did it, and I've been doing it almost five years. Oh, nice. 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 So who's your favorite comedian? Me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have. No, my favorite comedian is probably one of my, uh, um, my good friends that I work with a lot, Leonard Hoots. Oh, really? Famous comedians, as y'all probably know, uh, Dave, of course. Unknown guys, Tony Woods is probably one of the most underrated comedians ever. Google him, Tony Woods. Hilarious. So why why would they be your favorite? Oh, they just Each of them. Oh. Uh, the, anybody that can talk about anything can be funny is probably like who I like. Oh, so, yeah. I uh favorite female comedian. I hate to say female comedian. Dominique. She's a bigger older black lady. Hilarious. Yeah. Guaranteed fun. She from She from the DC area. Okay. Hilarious. That's just her name. Just Dominique. Just Dominique. I'm gonna have to look into her. I'm pretty sure y'all. That's crazy. A lot of times, that's that's the beauty of being a comic. You can be like, you've been on TV ten times, and people are like, ah, yeah, I know their face, but I don't know them. It's like, damn, we work hard. Yeah, <laughs> that's I'd be true. fucking recognized. That's it's like, true. 
<laughs> and I'm sure if I saw her face, I'd be like, oh, I have seen her somewhere. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's good, though, because you want to be normal in situations so you just watch people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's certain people in the suit like you. Like, yeah, just can't go back. Yeah. Nah. Can't go back. Yeah. That nigga little enough. I was surprised. I thought he was like, oh, I think he's he like shorter than me. It's not my height. Is he? No, he's shorter than us, I think. Yeah, I think so. Staying on his money is very fucking tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> very true. Um, so, okay. So, this is like a weird question. But everybody knows it's, there's a difference. So, What's the difference to you between like white people funny and black people funny? Like how when you when you're like on stage, do you no there's no difference? I feel like there is. White people have a different sense of humor. That's called white humor. What, so what, you like, mean, white what, funny? what do you mean? What do you ask? Them so, okay, so like, do you basically like alter alter your jokes at S all? No. To fit the crowd. No. no? Okay, so what kind of shit? That's pandering for one. <laughs> that is pandering. Very much pandering. <laughs> If it's not universally funny, you should probably shouldn't be. You should probably try to make your joke. Mm. Some jokes, yeah, of course you got some niggas. Like, ah, right, I'll give them this. Mm -hmm. But shit, white people, believe it or not, they experience the same shit we go through, just a little lighter. But they, they just want to hear real life experiences, and they can relate. You just gotta find shit like that. Mm -hmm. And even, even then, it's just uh, you just gotta figure mm -hmm. out just how to walk down the middle. So there is a difference. I was gonna ask. So white humor <laughs> is a little. There's a, it's something about it. Cause but it's some funny ass white yeah, boys. Yeah. It's some funny ass. So I, I, I do know funny. some really funny white comedians. Uh, Gary. Who? Gary. Gary. Yeah. But he's hilarious to me. Yeah, he's a great comic. But <laughs> he is. He one thing, anything. I'm one thing. <laughs> yeah, but one thing I do notice though, the difference between a more. Oh. <laughs> the difference between like a majority white audience and a majority black audience. White people tend to clap when the joke is funny and not really laugh. Mmm, because they would be mm -hmm. clappers. That's what and clappers. I'm yeah. like, you're supposed to be laughing, not clapping. I don't know, they ain't just, they but enjoy it. Well, we clap and joke. laugh at the same time, so. This niggas extra, but I'm doing a black laugh. <laughs> yeah, so. It just shit, it make it soul. funnier. You mean? <laughs> <laughs> you feed off the energy, girl, when you up there. You yeah, but I think that's the biggest thing, the, the energy of the crowd. Mm -hmm. If the crowd is rocking with you, then you know you up there doing your thing. Doing your thing. Another thing too, like, do you know? Do you notice the difference between like black, like white comedians? I feel like sometimes their jokes can get morbid. Like they go deep into like some whole other shit when it's they comics tell. That, it's black comics that do. It. We yeah, get that. I feel like ours is more like experience and like black, because just when, the black culture. Yeah, but it just depends on that's who they let be famous. It's a lot of comics that go black comics that go deep and get sick. And like, ooh, what yeah, like, think like that. that? Yeah, but it's funny though. It's, uh, Janelle James uh, uh, is a great comic, but she goes deep. Mm -hmm. She's not talking about the typical black shit. She don't sound like a typical black woman, but she's still a black woman. Yeah. So that's I, that's what I like now is allowing us to be dynamic and not just be this one style of thing. So mm -hmm. it's getting there. It definitely is. I need to check out some more comedians. I know. You know, I know a handful. You do a great job. You know. I really, really <laughs> like going to uh, amateur comedy. Mm -hmm. Which wow. is like them be the funniest, okay. um, the funniest comedians to me. Cause like I could go to a Kevin Hart show mm -hmm. and like it, it'd be okay, but Shuffle. it won't be as like raw, like a uh, amateur comedian. Mm -hmm. Some amateurs just don't be funny, but then you get the ones that actually be funny. You be thinking about them for like ever. Mm -hmm. You be like, damn, uh, they ain't famous yet. Like I can't think of their name. I just could keep saying what the joke shit. over. Not a joke though. I just told him this earlier like <laughs> he said we went to see right. him <laughs> a few months ago and it was one joke that he told and I was like it's the hummus joke man <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how it go but it's the hummus joke like you know, <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> yeah he was like yeah I know exactly what you're talking about so it's, it, it is like you go somewhere and you remember you do remember those people it's just you know what I'm glad is. people remember because niggas be stealing boy That's a fact I, I believe it. Yeah. It's like, damn, bro, just quit. <laughs> How many jokes have people stolen from you? Boy. Countless. Oh, damn. damn. Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta right. be original. Right. Yeah, keep writing. And I'm sure they're not telling it the way it was intended they're to be told. Damn, damn right. boy, you forgot a part, nigga. You want to steal it? <laughs> <laughs> you want to steal it? Steal it the right way. Nigga, go all in. Come on, go all in. Um, 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, they still jokes. People still ideas. You can still thought patterns. You can God damn, but you ain't like, what are you doing? But a lot of time, but to be honest, shit, stand up is built upon you see a combination of people within somebody, mm-hmm. and your job is just to sprinkle a little bit of you on it. So I'm probably a combination mm-hmm. of they or my favorite comics. So mm-hmm. it's like, oh, you similar yeah, style. Yeah, we that's how humans are. We learn through association. Like, oh, you remind me of so and so. Like, mm-hmm. alright, that's cool. But they kind of irritate too because you're trying to break away from that. Mm-hmm. You don't want to yeah. always be known with that person. Yeah. Very true. All right. I guess we can go ahead and get into the topic. Well, we have several parts. Um, so the first part is we want to talk about is chivalry. Chivalry dead? Do you think chivalry? There you go. <laughs> Do you think chivalry is dead? No, it's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah, it's a lie. I don't know if it's well, but it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think chivalry is definitely. It's a tool to use to get ass, baby. That's what? It's a tool to use to get ass. You be nice Uh-oh. to get ass. That's what it is. That, Open mean, the doors. I mean, you should be nice to be nice in general. Yeah, but. you know. But you can still be chivalrous and, I mean, really actually care about somebody and really actually I love believe them. so, too. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> no, I was fucking right. Yeah, I believe yeah. <laughs> You should be. All this should, that's another thing. Should is, is two different yeah. worlds. We need to operate. I think the more you operate in is, the more you'll see things clearly versus should. Mm-hmm. You should like, oh, you should do this, and then you just be disappointed because you're not operating it. Mm-hmm. But chivalry is not it. So chivalry has to come natural. You saying so? So somebody shouldn't be chivalrous just to be doing it. They it should just be a part of them. Is what you're no, saying? you just if you I mean if it's it. if it's sincere, if it's like you're actually if trying to get, if, you're if you're just trying to get some happy. What do you think it is? What do you think chivalry? Is? Um, I think it's doing something for somebody that you care about just because you want to do it and because it comes naturally. Same. I think this, there's a difference between dis- chivalry and like deceit. Mm. Deceiving. And there's a lot of people out here deceiving love yes. to get what they want. I feel like the difference is someone who genuinely is doing things because they want to and to make you happy, yeah. it doesn't stop. Mm-hmm. They continue to do it over and over and over again. When it's just to get into the panties, yeah, it stops. Yeah, <laughs> after they get the draws, and then that shit stops. I'm out, sis. Yeah. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm. The was cool. <laughs> said, yeah. yeah, you gotta be doing this stuff not to get something in return. You have mm-hmm. to do it because you want to do it. Yeah, and you gotta keep that shit consistent. Also, why do niggas do that shit and then what? fall off like she said? Man, because you know, because you went all that. All right. <laughs> Oh right. Just me. Yeah. You ever had some cool food? You're like, ah, ah, I never eat again. You know, it's cool. <laughs> so that's Fill me up. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Not all of it. But, but I mean, sometimes you gotta get past that first time. Cause sometimes the first time, you know, and and I agree. Like, I agree. Mm-hmm. I always give a second chance. Now the second time, if it's whack, that shit just whack. Right? <laughs> and it ain't no coming back. From you that. know what? That's my rule. I fuck three times. Oh, for what you say? We did it. three times. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. Whatever you say, Robert, you're lying. You did something three times. You didn't like it. You stupid. <laughs> but nah, chivalry is not. Good. So, would you consider yourself chivalrous? What do I want? Okay. Why not just be a gentleman to everyone? What you mean, bro? Because you want to be a gentleman, but not be chivalrous. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. basically yeah. respect is given, of course. Okay. But it's just like I'm not going out of my way. I'm not for somebody. I'm not trying to see. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I hold the door for a lady. Yes, I guess mm-hmm. that. But chivalry, yeah. uh, some situations don't require chivalry. To be honest, it's like, shit, what's up? Mm-hmm. All right, what's up? A lot of dudes don't even hold the door for you. They don't no. open the door for you. They don't say. Do y'all want y'all door open every day? Car door. Yeah, um, like if we drive somewhere, I gotta come get you out the, door, out the car. Not no, all the time. No, like, uh, so, like but I can get myself out the door. But like, if we walk into the car, like, yeah. Yeah, and it don't gotta be all it the time. It doesn't bother me, but I think I've just gotten to the habit of opening my own door. That when I was dating a guy who wouldn't let me touch the car door, he legit would make me get out and make me shut the door so he can come open it and let me in. No, and that you're shit, wasting like, time, my nigga. Right? right? You're wasting no, some time. some days I'll be like, wait, I'm getting in the car whether you're opening the nigga, door. Nigga, it's or not. cold outside. <laughs> exactly. So sometimes we have to argue because I'm like, it's cold. I'm going, I'm getting in the car. What are you talking about? <laughs> You can open it when we get to our destination. <laughs> you know why chivalry is dead? Because women abuse it too. I ain't gonna lie. Some, women abuse it. some do. Some do. I ain't gonna lie. And I think some women expect it from a man that they know they don't really want to date. For mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. Or dudes they be using. 
Ooh, the side chick. When you get cheated at, um, with an ugly bitch. Mm -hmm. Hold on, what? That's 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 key, her that worse. Worse. Why? I personally. We do it all the favor. He's like, ah, I ain't gonna fuck the pretty bitch. I don't want to hurt my girl feelings. I'm gonna fuck. I feel, like, I feel like it does the That's opposite. Cheaper. So if my man is cheating with a, a less attractive woman, it makes me think. Damn, I'm not you, even. <laughs> yeah, like then I'm thinking like, are you what thinking that we're like? on the same level? Yeah. Like now I'm confused. Like I would much rather you cheat with a really pretty. <laughs> so what if the girl better look better than y'all? Y'all still gonna be mad? I mean, you still gonna be mad, but not as mad. Because I'd be like, well, damn, she is kind of fine, but why? But why? Why are you cheating? Duh, nigga, you just said. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> but but then it make well why are you cheating with an ugly girl? What's your what's your excuse? Maybe the ugly girl don't talk as much as you. Ooh, no, you didn't. That's yeah. If y'all really want to learn, do y'all really want to learn men, or y'all just want to be with them and just like see if it work out? Nah. I'm well, every man's not the same either. It's so not, like, you can't like, generalize. Hey, you like silence? Talking about salad. Silence. Oh, I thought you said salad. Like, what that got to do with? Most men like silence. <laughs> That's what foreplay is. Does a quiet evening. But you know what's crazy? I like to talk, but only when it's in conversation. Like, I don't be talking just to talk, just to hear myself talk. Mm -hmm. Like, I personally enjoy a lot of silence, and I enjoy alone time. Mm -hmm. So in a relationship, if you, if we can sit down and watch TV quietly, no conversations, hugged up, that's cool with me. Could be married about two, three years. <laughs> <laughs> well, I value, I value silence, because silence, some, some dudes talk a lot, too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it depends on what the person is like. If I like your life, some chatty motherfucking pet. It depends. Yeah, it depends. What? We gonna gossip it? Shit, shit, shit. Girl. But that's how it is. If you really feel in the person, you'll, you'll talk a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. The conversation flows. Now, if you force a conversation, that's when it's a problem. Yeah. yeah. And that but you can always feel that energy. Like, you could tell mm -hmm. the difference. I don't know. Fight through this shit. Feelings be lying. Energy be lying too. What? This I'm finna tell you I'm finna break it's a stat. Actual stat. You know how arranged marriages work? Because they ignore the idea of Western love. It's just like alright, we're gonna make this shit work regardless. Hey. Low key, um, I've heard I've like read shit like that. Especially with uh the ninety day fiance, even though they be knowing each other like a little bit thing, I've seen each other until they come to America or whatever, or yep. to the other country. Mm -hmm. That's my show though, y'all should really tell me. Mm -hmm. I ain't marrying somebody I hardly know. No, if it's not happening, and I'm marrying whoever I choose to marry because I love them. Look how many wrong choices you had in your life. You should let somebody else pick. Uh, absolutely I not. Just and if my mama chose, <laughs> <told, laughs> we're gonna keep it moving. And I want to ask you, how do you initiate sex? So we went from chivalry. Now we talk about sex. Lately, with all this bullshit going on, I'm like, hey, you wanna make out? <laughs> I swear to God, you have to ask now. You did not say make out. Bro, what? It's kind of, be throwing them off like, oh, it's corny. Like, yeah, make it's out. Good. <laughs> but no, nah, it's, it's a lot of bullshit going on. It's a lot of bullshit going on. You gotta have consent. is really it's fucking true. big now. You know, I be, you be talking to your homies. I go out and talk to my friends. And them niggas really, some niggas really don't know what rape is. They're like, hey, bro, that's rape, nigga. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. And that's sad, but it's, it's the not. Truth. It's sad because yeah, nigga, how many times have you had a consent conversation? Y'all talk about it all the time. Look at hey, tell somebody if they touch your private part. Anybody have that conversation with? Like, oh, she touched your private part. It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that is fucked up. You don't teach boys mm -hmm. boundaries with with sex. Yeah. 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 So that's how I initiate. Uh, it's like, do you want to fuck? What's up? Like, uh, what was it? I was in somebody you liked. What? Yeah. What you mean? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be straight, you gotta What's be up? with it. Like, can I have some of that today? Low key, can I have some of that today? I'm That's how I got, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you got, yeah. You like, you should straight. Yes, you can. <laughs> I was like, no, you ask. I didn't want to be forward, you know. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. 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 <laughs> you know, you know. Come on, two hands. <laughs> yeah, that, you, is, that, that is hard because yeah. I, I don't know. Women get offended. Yeah, it depends. Suck your dick. <laughs> yes, yes. I didn't want to say it, but yes. Please. <laughs> it depends. You really gotta feel the person out, though. Like you can't just be asking for heads from any old body. You know, of course, the, you know, with precaution. Like, yeah, but like, yeah. but you, if we fuck around, 
<laughs> I had it for it was good. I would like some more. <laughs> I like the little smidge of head if I can get it. No smidge. I can get it. I know you got it on, you know. Oh my god. Man, that's crazy. Do you like head over sex? Uh, sex is head. So, but head is great because her mouth is quiet. No, I was fine. It's so sexy. It's so, so nasty. It's so wrong, but it's true. But it's also, that's the only time we're doing sex where we really don't have to do anything. So, head is, you know, I always appreciate it. I just sit back, you know. Watch this show. Oh, oh my god. Raise a little hurt. I got your back. Oh, my god. Put your hair up. Nigga, put your hair up. You like it. That's how you know. That's a fact. That, that is true. That's a fact. I need my man. Why you going to say, oh my god? Put it up. <laughs> but another thing, I feel like the moment a dude start putting your hair back, you know you're going crazy because he's trying to get mm-hmm. that shit out of the way. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, turn up, bitch. Turn up. <laughs> do y'all like do y'all take instructions with? No. I think I do. Yeah, then come on, what you do? <laughs> I'm like, let me do what I'ma do. No, nigga, it's me. You down here fucking up? And I'm the one <laughs> <laughs> Let me coach you. Let's get us together. Let's, Let's get us together. That's never happened, so. Uh, it uh, niggas is not gonna be like, man, get off me. We're like, we gonna take it. It don't matter. <laughs> well, y'all know this about us. Y'all know this about us. It's like, come on, let's you know. I mean, I've never had a guy have to direct me with what to do, but directions in a sense of like, ooh, do what you just did, I like that. Like, go back to that other move. Sometimes you be having to say, ooh, that feels so good. Just to get out into it, like, ah, it's like, you like that, I was just about to say. Hey, don't lie to me. If I'm down there, just didn't lay around. My mouth getting tired. Come on. My fingers cramping up, bitch. I'm trying to figure this out. No, I think I'm pretty good with direction. I don't get offended with direction. You can tell me like, all right, let's teeth or do this or. Why do I gotta tell you, let's teeth? Who the fuck won't teeth? Some men like sometimes like my mouth not that big. My mouth not that big. My mouth not that big. Yeah, so has a woman ever asked you? Has a woman ever asked you for head and like how? Yes. Some girl like, man, you gonna eat my pussy? Like, she told me, I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. damn. Okay. Damn, it was kind of like sexy. I was like, yeah, I like what this bitch did. It was kind of cute. I'm gonna eat this pussy. Oh, you nasty bitch. But yeah, some girls, some girls be like, I know I'm never gonna do this. She's like, so why you on it? Because I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it. Okay. You don't do that. So you pick and choose. Yeah. Yeah. You have yeah, to you say gotta, with what you're yeah, sucking. You gotta yeah. pick and choose. Nah, nah, nah you suck this motherfucker. When it come out, it's going somewhere, baby. It's going back in. Nah, come on, roll it off that. <laughs> it's going Get back in. Get off that. <laughs> nah, I can't have, the girl can't have sex with me. She's you know, gotta warm me up. That's my go-to. So that has to come first? What? The head? First, middle, middle, like, you know what I'm saying? Come to the end. <laughs> I need you to do in the middle of sex. I need you to turn around and jump up on it. And then, you know, we get back to what we're doing. It, it's a mixture of shit. We just can't, you know. It, it, it has to be a mixture. But yeah. every session, you ain't going to get it in the beginning, middle, and the end. So when, would y'all, when do y'all feel like y'all started having good sex? Because it ain't going to be high school. You just started? Well, I just started. That's because I just started listening. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, I was doing the same one with every bitch. They like, nigga, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. You can't do every girl the same, you know. Then once you start listening, you start to have. It's a pride thing, cause the first time I, I remember the first time I had sex with a girl, she pulled out some toys. I'm like, this dick ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bring him in for. <laughs> I've had a guy tell me that, and I'm like. Oh, you trying to spice it up? You trying to switch it up? I don't like spice, nigga. I like my bland food, bland sex. Food. But now you realize, like, man, this make it way easier. Uh, yeah, and I feel like women are being a lot more free too with mm-hmm. having sex and exploring cool. everything. That's yeah. great. Men too, but definitely women. Yeah, mm-hmm. women explore. That just don't explore certain. Now, y'all don't stick your finger in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I ain't doing that. Mm-hmm. I have not played with a man's ass. Do you? Niggas got reflexes. No, the gooch is the closest I'm gonna get to yeah. your ass. Maybe I'll yeah. touch your cheeks, but I ain't gonna go in near the hole. I ain't going in the hole. What if a nigga ass out of his ass? Or friend is that? No. Uh-uh. No. So that but if it it's like if I'm life. already in a relationship and I truly <laughs> love the man, yeah. it's like, well shit, I can't I mean, if you like it, I'll try it. And if I try it and I dislike it, then sorry, I can't keep going. Yeah. Good job, figure y'all. 
I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't care too much to say this on my ass. She's like, so cool. Yeah, I think so. No, like, fingers on the ass is cool, but. I don't know how far to go. But it can't I, be like when you actually finger in me. It can't be. It's not the same. Huh? You got you gotta be getting fucked and then yeah uh, like it ain't yo <laughs> yeah you gotta get yeah, it's, it's, it's you know you gotta like a cute dog yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie cute, <laughs> <laughs> don't come back and they be like hey nigga y'all heard you ruin I like, hey, bro you all just bullshit if I get to my oh, thumb and edge y'all like it but now getting your ass ain't feels great so why y'all wanna return the favor. You don't think men want to feel that? You like to your ass ah! No, I, was, I ain't had it done yet, but I'm not against it. Okay. You say yes. 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 I feel like you don't know what you like until you Bro, try. Bro, I'm just scared of the noise I'm going to make. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you moan, you're going to be yeah, more nervous. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wait, what? How am I going to ask you that? That's true. That's true. Like, some women just true. go no, where they want to go, and they look nasty. Right. Like, some men don't like their balls touched or licked, and some women go straight for the balls, and you got to let them know. I don't know what that. Now this is woman offered to eat my ass in Atlanta. Really? Someone yeah. offered How to eat your ass? I told that joke the one I just said. Oh, really? I told her on stage and she was like, I can do that for you. I was like, what? She's like, I can do that. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, I can, you know, do that. Like, no, I was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. I was just playing. No, 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 I'm good. She's like, thank you. But you know, keep this little shit in my food. That's all <laughs> Like, that's probably how y'all feel about niggas. Like, yeah. yeah. Niggas really be saying, I'm like, I can't compete with this club tonight. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> niggas, that's their opening line. It's not even hello no more. Yes. Yeah. No, they did. Dudes will, dudes will eat any and every woman's pussy. Like, and I've okay. come across yeah. that. Do you let niggas just eat your pussy though? Shut up. No. no. A guy that's quick to mm-hmm. do that, I'm like, you probably you got somebody, and yeah. therefore I don't trust your mouth. So, mm-hmm. not if you that quick to. And your or, your oral hygiene says a lot. So if you don't brush your teeth, if your breath stink, <laughs> it's a no. If you got dirty ass fingernails, it's a no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you All right, now the next one. I do the finger in. I don't like to get finger. No. Right. It's cool as a warm up, but yeah, like not a ass. Yeah, yeah, good finger. Yeah, that's all. It nah, is. yeah, you must not have. Because yeah, I almost come off getting fingers once I was like, do I just feel so good? Even when I'm like masturbating, I don't even think of myself. Like, I don't like that shit. I just got into that. Masturbating? Really. Like, with my fingers. Uh, you like, with the batteries. <laughs> with my fingers. No, I just use shit. Just rub the clit. That's all you mm-hmm. need. You know? Well, or, you some racist, stimulation. <laughs> or sometimes shit. <laughs> Depending on how you land, you get the rubbing on, on the bed. Pillow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I asked me to be was. Yeah. I'm gonna get pink out because you sick. You can't use your hair. You lazy. Oh. I'm gonna get pink out. For real. My ass on the bed. Sometimes the way that the way you land, you get that. Y'all just accidentally start playing with yourself. Yeah. Sometimes you accidentally rub them. Kind of feel good. Yeah, you be laying on your hands. Damn. You know what? I'm just saying. Might as well. You know we hurt. You know we hurt. Hell no. So like, okay, so a girl give you hit, right? Mm-hmm. So you mentioned, so how do you tell her she don't know what she's doing? Get up. <laughs> In real life, how do you tell her she don't know what she's doing? Get up. <laughs> Let's talk. You don't really tell her get up? Yeah, this, what? You know, this, 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 this. You really like her, you really care about her. How do you tell her? You're not going to tell her get up. I ain't really like the girl a long time. You know how you really give me to like you? Be quiet. Mm-hmm. Suck your dick right. Yeah, eat that motherfucker up. Eat it up. I'm done. That's how you give me like eat it up. <laughs> yum 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 yum. Yes, all that. And then you'll like her. Nah, it's bullshit. Nah, it's for the girl that I really like. Uh, yeah, you you, you try, but sometimes some people just don't get it. And mm-hmm. some if it's not an enthusiastic head, it it really ain't good. I had a good time. She wasn't that good at it, but the effort she gave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Once she was sweating, I was like, yeah, I, I, I appreciate it. I, I like the cheese. <laughs> <She was sweating. laughs> I knew it was so bad. The white man, she was getting it. Oh, you hate that? Your nose be. <laughs> oh, I'm like, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, come on. You're a team player. Effort. Come on, you're a team player. <laughs> Effort. I have given a man. You know, a thumbs up for effort mm-hmm. on the head tip. Like it wasn't the best I've ever had, but it wasn't terrible. But he he really put his all into it for so shit. Yeah, I just really don't like training niggas. Y'all really don't like. Y'all want a nigga to know. 
Cause some nigga, some one day a nigga knew and he was like, shit, I guess all of them know. <laughs> Shit, a mean, lot, just like women get offended, niggas get offended uh, yeah. about taking direction. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure. I used to. Like, bitch, I know what I'm doing. I've seen one of these before. And you'd be like, I've I've seen seen like no, no, you don't get up. No. Let's just fuck. Let's just because fuck. everybody yeah. likes something different, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. You gotta ask questions, you know? I don't really like foreplay like that. Really? I mean, I like but see, with like, women, like you need foreplay. Unless yeah. okay. the chemistry is there, because I have dated guys where he you just look at me away and I'm dripping. Like, no foreplay needed. But we had that connection. Here's the thing chemistry. about foreplay. Why I gotta get you ready for some shit we both gonna do? You don't go nowhere else. You want else to be good well, Yeah, I want to be good. You want to be good too. You I mean, I'm just get saying, ready. get me ready. Help me get ready. It's because I'm ready. It's the hard. Ready. But see, that's the we thing. We heard, we out. You guys have an instant reaction. Yeah, our women, instant. we have to get the the, the juices flowing. Yeah, they don't just out. But that's what I'm saying. If you, you are trying to out to the guy. Start fucking. <laughs> we ain't really even got to look at you. Like, I don't even like you. We just like, yeah, I got to have fun. Let's go. But yeah. see, if, if I have to really work at getting ready for sex, I don't. there's no chemistry and I really don't like you like that. I'm just kind of going with it just to go with it. If I have to really work hard, and then... I like foreplay because... You know, it's intimacy too. It, first of all, does I like for <laughs> first of all I like for yeah I like for play because one I need to get off before you do and I want to make sure that that is the priority because because niggas could get off like that like it takes more like she said for women to actually get into the group and if I'm there then I I could I could please you even better because you just did whatever you did to get me to this point. Get your girl ready. So, Watch yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. That is not She's gonna a go crazy. step you want to skip. Right. You will never uh, think of it the same. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're not doing foreplay. I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? What about and me? And you're struggling to get it in because it's yeah, happening, right? Yeah, right. 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 Lamp, that shit. <laughs> right. Good. Yeah, it's just, no. You don't want that. You don't mm -hmm. want the problems. You do not want those problems. Um, so, have you ever had a girl dickmatized? Mm. Uh, maybe like two or three. Not a lot. The dick just got good. <laughs> just cool, you know. Try to put the truth. <laughs> Tell about the dick just got good. Well, them two or three must have thought it was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know. How do you know? How do you know they were dickmatized? I usually fuck with girls for years though. On and off. And it's, you know, On and off? Yeah, you know. So if she keep coming back, you know she dickmatized. Come around, you know, I'm over a lot. You know, you know what to do. <laughs> I get nothing to do, I get nothing to do. Faith. And then you leave. Come on. Aliens. I don't like fucking other people. I don't like fucking people. Especially if we ain't together. It just feels like a setup. I, 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 I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. Low key. I can see that. Yeah, we fucking like call at my house. What's up? <laughs> Not your car. Not the car. The car okay. sex is pretty decent. It's overrated. Very We're hot. Don't do it yeah. in the summertime. Because <laughs> no, 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 no. you open the door, you can try to hurt your ass out. Mosquitoes come. Um, <laughs> out your ass. Yeah, no. um, I used to fuck this girl in her daddy's truck. Boy, I don't know how. In her daddy's truck? What? You used to pull up on me in her daddy's truck. So my dick. Give me a little push push and go on about a bit. You can take your truck, your daddy's truck back home smell like sick. <laughs> this bitch was sick. That's it I've had though. Oh, you're driving with the God. windows down? <laughs> right, trying to air out that chair out. Trying to air out, yeah. Y'all been there before, you sick, sick, yeah, you told on yourself. My mama gonna find out, why would he do that? It's <laughs> all right. Nah, I ain't never fucked in my car. <laughs> I've never fucked in my car either. Why not? I have. I mean, not the car. Not this car. Right, yeah. Well, not this car. Yeah, I'm not pressing the cord. I'm pressing the cord. I got nice leather seats, no way back in the It's perfect, they heat seats. Not in the back. No, not in the back. Uh -huh. Are y'all fucking fresh? I have. Uh -huh. See, uh-uh. <laughs> that's I a lot space. of work. In the yeah. back, you got way more space to work. Yeah, we know who lazy motherfuckers is. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a lazy one that well, likes to ride. to ride in the back seat. I got space. You got space. I got space. Y'all you know, need good for rides. Y'all get up there. <laughs> in the car or just in general? Period. Oh. Uh, for a certain amount of time, then I'll be like, all right. What's the certain amount of time? 30 seconds? <laughs> it, it's a long time for the day. I just be a little bit with my knees, though. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was gonna say it depends because a lot of women I jump to the gun. Yeah. A lot of women try to be on their feet. That's when you do the workout. Yeah. When you're on your knees, it's, it's really your, it's the hip motion. Yeah. Oh, 
Don't be scooting on my dick. Oh, that ain't cool. No. I mean, hell no. You gotta, Fuck, you I'm gotta, not you gotta, hot. You gotta do some confidence. I'm fine. Mind to me like this. Because it feels good to me. You gotta do a combination of up and down. Yeah. You know, up side, and down side, and kill it. Around yeah. Like, yeah. Too you many know. up and downs. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get up. We is Oh, but it's also what the men like. Some men mm -hmm. like women to not even go up and down, but just literally just like grind on them. Some men like that. I think you're right. I don't know. You gotta do what your partner like. It's all it's it's all preference. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's all Next preference. So thirty seconds. You say about fifteen. Okay. Seventeen <laughs> seconds. Tell us. Twelve seconds. Miss you. Man, to I be mean, honest, if you really want to ride good, just do reverse cowgirl. That way you can reverse yep. on your mm -hmm. lazy Yeah, that is the thing, though. It's angry. <laughs> oh, that's the key. <laughs> that's the key. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the key. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah, I've been dick before, though. How many times? Just. It's probably twice. I was going to say twice for me. Twice? Just once for me. Just once. What it do? It's up to you. Did the dick get shoulder? <laughs> No, that that was the dick that I could just look at him and just be like, ready, no problems, just a look. Or yeah. should we be in the middle of a party and I'd be like, you give each other that look, let's go to the room. <laughs> hey, you want it anywhere now? Both times I was just ready, just whenever. How old was you this time? Y'all ain't gonna go into that. Y'all too old to be dick tied now? Well, I ain't had no, no dick work being dick tied. Yeah, that's old. Yeah. What's the worst dick you ever? You remember? You remember yeah. the worst dick you ever? Had? Yes. <clears throat> yes. It was just, what, was, what was wrong? What was the worst? What was the worst pussy you ever had? You had worst. Worst, for the worst vagina. Mm. And why was it the worst? I had some men. <laughs> I called it men. I called it men. Uh. How many times? Boy, I don't know. A few times. Sometimes this shit just be like, yeah, this ain't fun. It be dry. Just feel she like you're just walking down a big road by yourself, <laughs> kicking rocks, just, just <laughs> in a diddly and dab. It's just like, yeah, this ain't fun for nobody. You just got a big ass booty. <laughs> you gotta know what to do with that big old booty, girl. Yeah, you know, yeah you just there. You just shake it with it. I get off. It don't take much for us, but the pussy still be trash. But yeah, I remember. Boo. <laughs> Sex was gosh. Boo. Gosh. <laughs> <Go by. laughs> no. Oh yeah, my worst dick. Mm -hmm. And it's hard sometimes because like you don't want to be rude and be like this shit whack get up. But sometimes I just and I won't was fake too it. Excited? But huh? was he too excited? Sometimes I don't like that pounding. Like take your yeah, time with pussy and go in the It ain't running from you. Just relax. <laughs> take your real. time. <laughs> What's your rushing for? That's come from watching too much porn. That, yeah, I think men have an unrealistic expectation of what women like. Yeah, some girls, I, I don't know, some girls be like, hey, fuck me, I'm like, I ain't, I ain't got hard in me. That's it. <laughs> I ain't got hard in me. <laughs> These hips are about to <laughs> It's a time and a place. If I'm in a mood to be rough, then, then of course, rough, you're yeah. rough. But yeah, I should say that. I want to be fucked. You're like, all right, cool. No, so, yeah, sometimes I'm getting yeah, verbal, I'm like, okay, this should feel good. You slow stroking it, but right now I don't want slow strokes. Like, pound that shit, like. <laughs> beat my shit up, nigga. <laughs> beat it up, cuz. If a girl ever tell me that, nah, cuz, beat it up. Beat it. <laughs> Stop talking to me like that. Beat it up, cuz. <laughs> mm. mm. Child. You ain't your worst time? Me? Mm -hmm. I just told this story a few times. Oh, right? Yeah, I don't want to board. I don't want to board the people. Damn. <laughs> Unless they ain't been listening. They Which they know. need to. Go back. Go back. I don't even know what episode that was. It don't matter what. Do we talk about masturbation? Oh, you didn't get to masturbation. Yet. I didn't touch it a little bit. You touched on it a little bit. Oh, I like how you did it. You touched it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you masturbate? Uh, shit. You said you're not fucking fighting right now. Who said it? I thought you said that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you said that. Didn't you say that? I said, you said, said he didn't like nobody at all. I don't remember saying that. Thank you, I appreciate you. Put the words in my few shit. It's a problem. Trying to get you caught up. It's a problem. So, who are you fucking right now? You don't like this? No, I ain't from nobody. I just 
I'm gonna have to no. do this the job. I'm not work. Nice to meet you. Right? Eight o'clock at night. Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Talk to me. And my hands are sticky. I'm not having fun time. In between writing scripts and when you get writer's block, you're like, alright, fuck it. <laughs> I'll call a girl on lunch break. I'm gonna sit there. Oh my god. You know, put you down at work. That's so sexy. This is you break the rules. I feel like that. I'm gonna. I think that's a turn on. What? Yeah. Sex on my lunch break. What? what? You come back to my like little dick. Little dick. dick. <laughs> I ain't have a lot. He's giving. A little bit. Not a lot of dick. I just like women that work for a lot of them. I'm just I'm putting them fucking shit in there. Yeah, the dick. Who's your cue? Who's your cue? Well, on that note, I think that's really all we have for the topic. It is. Yes. Let's get into this question week real quick. Question week. Yes. Okay. Show it's yours. I know. <laughs> it's, it's always my turn. <laughs> your question week. But no, uh, my question week this week is uh, actually a friend of mine. His name is Magic. Real name Daniel. Uh, he is. Magic no. Magic <laughs> one. He's a tattoo artist. <laughs> so he, his work is like phenomenal like he's been doing tattoos since what else have I known him but his work is amazing and it gets better and better as time goes on yes <laughs> you're on sale y'all should definitely go check him out I, I don't know if he's still in Chicago though um but his oh should I just add it his Instagram is that's magic oh you know yeah oh I like this yeah, he was cute. cute. I get that tattoo. That's mm -hmm. cute. And then when you look at his old shit and look at the new shit, it's, it's, yes. It's yes. But he was even where I was here with his old shit. Yeah, so that's lipstick. Well, I like that. That's Ooh, dope. That's, that? that's dope. That's really dope. He did the same shit? That look like his sisters. I don't know. I don't know who he did this for. But, um. She should be good. Mm -hmm. His sister. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um. Y'all go follow him, go check him out. Yes, that is my crush of the week. Hey, Magic. Um, definitely love your work. Gotta get a tattoo soon. And I will have all of his information in the description box that y'all never read. <laughs> <laughs> y'all better read that if, shit. It take time. If you don't read the description box, we always post the crush of the week the week they're featured on the episode on our Instagram page. So mm -hmm. they get a designated post if you if you're too lazy to read, just go to the Instagram page. <laughs> You'll find them. Yes. Um, you got somebody that you want to shout out for just doing something dope in, in Chicago, St. Louis, LA. Hey, hey, shout out yourself. Yeah, and it's not you. I you ain't nobody but you. Uh, just plug myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you can plug yourself. Damn, I wish I was going to have all the thought of us. Just some shout out to black women. They amazing. They smell okay, good. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. said we smell like uh, Ari Lennox. He could tell we, we listen to Ari Lennox. Yeah, this is Ari House. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give me an E. E. Shea Gone, girl. Sing it, Jay. Fuck it up. Okay. Oh, so you know the words too. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, uh, myself. Find me on Instagram and Twitter at vbryant9, V B R Y N T, the number 9, uh, vbryant9.com. Check out my tour dates. I might be going to a city near you pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thanks for having me, guys. This has been trifling, but very true. Yeah, this was great. Yeah, good. Yes. 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 And before we wrap up, I'm going to go ahead and start us off with our quote. Well, with my quote. Um, my quote of the week. I do one too. If you have yeah, a quote, you know, you know, I'll be writing these quotes when I get famous. <laughs> they going to mean more than So, my quote is a scripture. Mm -hmm. It says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When through the rivers, they won't sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you won't be scorched and flame won't burn you. Isaiah 43, verse 2. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it, I was like, girl, you, you lost, lost me. <laughs> I don't know why I felt, I, feel, I was like dyslexic right now. You like, I'm read. stuttering. Yeah. I'm, I can't breathe. Like, Gloria, you're like, 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 like,
she had the bouncy ball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jeremiah, is she you your features? He's gonna get back. God damn, why y'all let go of me? We was all like, put your hand down. You gonna edit that out, right? Oh <laughs> no, no oh it's shit. a trifle here. Keep it in. They, they, they know. They get it. They can look it up. Child. I don't know why I'm just like dyslexic right now. Exactly, <laughs> sad. It's been a long day. Yeah. Okay, I'll go next. Mine is I am in charge of how I treat myself, and I choose to treat myself with love, kindness, compassion, and forgiveness. I am deserving of this simply because I exist. I recognize when I get stuck in a limiting mindset and gently guide myself back to loving thoughts. Mm -hmm. I like that. Huh. That's funny because mine is kind of similar. Huh. Get out of my head. <laughs> mine is the day you decide that you are more interested in being aware of your thoughts than you are in the thoughts themselves, that is the day you will find your way out. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's a good one. Can I read mine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go okay. ahead. This is by uh, one of my favorite rappers. Uh, mm -hmm. Money over bitches. <laughs> Get money. Fuck the no, just playing. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I ain't got no quote. Uh, just, just continue to be happy. Find happiness. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Amen. Yeah. Well, All right. Well, well, thank you so much for joining yes. us. This was thank great. This has been wonderful. You are you always welcome back. And you know, your next Chicago show, you definitely got to come out. Which I do tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> I got to work. With my sir. What you gonna do? Work. I'm Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I'm too. Well, if y'all want to know, it'll be ha it'll be part of the crew. Part yeah. of the crew. Bring well, whoever y'all want to bring, I put y'all on the list. Yay! Yeah. We did it. Eat. Yeah, I do the humble joke for y'all. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Right, well, we'll see y'all next Thursday. Yes. yes. Bye. Peace. Bye.